What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday over here. Currently Bitcoin is at about 27.6k. It did have a over 1% drop as the time of recording of this video, getting resistance from that 28k zone. Very important to be paying attention to Bitcoin right now because what it does here is going to affect the altcoins for the most part, okay? So I've actually is able to reclaim this 28k area that's going to be looking a lot better for the altcoins in the short term as well as um if bitcoin actually gets rejected here that's not going to be looking good for the altcoins at least in the short term okay but the main post the main topic about this uh on this post will be about caspa see what has gone on in this market since the last time i've talked about it See what's going on with the price action here because it has not been able to break uh, that top for the past couple of weeks. Could it be topping out here or uh, could it actually break through this resistance? We're going to be taking a look into some upside as well as some downside price targets for Caspa and some key price levels to be paying attention to in order for this coin to go either direction. Just got to be realistic, okay? I'm going to be giving you guys my personal sentiment and opinions on this market later in this video so make sure to be staying around for that of course none of what i'm saying here is financial advice it's purely my personal opinions and speculations i could very well be wrong i am not a financial advisor nor am i a elite trader of any sort even though i am a profitable trader who's been able to keep most of my profits during the last bear market but i'm looking to crush it here for the next bull cycle so if you guys feel the same way Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the charts here. All right, so we are going to come to Caspa first, okay? And we're going to do Bitcoin later where I would share with you guys my overall sentiment on this market, on this overall crypto market, okay? Now, what we have here, Caspa here is on the weekly time frame, right? I've been talking about this. Now, I just want to uh, make a, um, uh, an edit here, okay? Uh, I did find a chart that had more data, which is based on the MEXC exchange, okay? That is the difference between this chart and the last chart I used because this one actually has more data. Um, so we're going to be using this one here, okay? Uh, last time I was not able to find it. Now, let's go ahead and um, go with this chart here, okay? So this coin has been trying to break through this level at about, I would say about this uh, 5.2, 5.4 area here. Okay, this 5.2 to 5, this 5.4 cents area here. Okay, now what we have here is a rising wedge. Okay, on this weekly time frame, a huge rising wedge here. Rising wedges are typically bearish patterns. Okay. Um, if it actually does break to the downside here, you would take a measured a measurement from the opening of the pattern and then put it beneath a future breakout date because it has not broken out yet. I'm just gonna put you know one, two, three weeks into the future. Okay. I'm not saying it does have to break down within three uh three weeks. I'm just putting it somewhere reasonable where I can get a measured target. For example, it could break out later, sooner, or it could even break to the upside, okay? It's just that the probabilities of breaking down is higher in this pattern, okay? You guys can do a Google search on rising wedges, measured targets, whatever trading concepts I'm talking about here, go and verify it yourself because it's verifiable. It is free public knowledge. Go and learn these concepts yourself because I think that's the most valuable thing you can take away from this content, okay? Now, weekly time frame, bearish pattern, measure target. If it breaks down three weeks from now, it's going to give you a measure target of about 1.4 cents area, okay? Just a little below 1.4 cents area. You're going to have quite a bit of moving averages acting as support, which we'll get to later and uh, talking about their significance. Let's even come down to the daily time frame here and see if we can get any kind of clues on what this price action could be doing, 
Okay. Now it looks like there could be a um a cup and handle here, right? But it's uh you know this daily candle is starting to look uh like it's going to inv invalidate this cup and handle because if this actually breaks um about four point five cent area, which is basically um the bottom of this quote unquote cup then I will have to invalidate this possible cup and handle. This is not yet a cup and handle, okay? Um, so this is not yet a cup and handle. In order for this to finish a cup and handle pattern here, I would like to see two touches here on this 5.4 cents area, at least two touches on the daily time frame here um, on the 4.5, 5.4 cents area here that will complete the cup and handle. Right now, it's not looking like um, it's completed at all, right? It looks like it can even invalidate it, right? Other than that, could this be a falling wedge? This looks like it could be a falling wedge on a lower time frame. No, it's the channel is widening, so I would not call this a falling wedge because the channel is widening. Um, it should be at least tightening or parallel, so you can at least call it a channel. But um, that is not okay. So um, I am looking like it is looking like this possible uh cup and handle could be invalidated. Something to be looking out for if uh you get a daily candle close beneath. 4.5 cents area, uh, this would surely invalidate this possible cup and handle idea, okay? If this does actually, um, you know, get a huge weight back up and finishes this cup and handle, that would look more bullish for uh, this price action, but, um, you know, that's still a pretty long shot from now. Now, let's go ahead and take a look into uh, some possible bearish signals I have to point out as well. Okay, you have quite a bit of, you have quite a bit of bearish divergence on this daily time frame on the RSI. That's basically when you're, when you're getting a higher high on this price action chart, but a lower high on the RSI, lower or equal high on the RSI, right? That will indicate a, uh, a bearish signal. That's bearish divergence. Go ahead and Google that as well. That basically tells me that the uh, buy pressure is actually getting exhausted. Okay. You're going to see that on the three day time frame as well. Right. Same thing. Higher, uh, high on the price action chart, lower high on the RSI. Same thing on the weekly time frame. Okay, you guys can see it. We don't have any uh, RSI data on the monthly time frame. Okay, so that's basically what I'm looking at. Uh, measure move here. Um, if this price action was to break out to the upside, which is against its probabilities, you do have to break this upper trend line here. Okay, that's going to be at least uh, five point. I'm just gonna say five point seven cents area here. Okay. Uh, that's going to be going up because you're going to be looking at an upward sloping trend line here. Now, let's take a look into some key supports and resistances for this price action. Okay, still pretty new um, chart, pretty new coin here, right? Let's take a look. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any major moving averages above the price action. Okay, so... The key resistance here I'm going to be looking at would be, first of all, the 5.4 cents area, right? That was the previous high, and then this upper trend line, which would vary uh, depending on when it hits it, okay? That would be about uh, at least 5.6 cents area, and then upward sloping, okay? Um, That's basically what I'm looking at if this price action wants to break to the upside. Those are going to be your key resistances. Key supports. Right now, uh, it is basically beneath this 
uh, daily 21 SMA, which is at about 4.8 cent area. It looks like it wants to close below it, right? And then the next key support here will be the daily 50 SMA, about the 4.3 cents area. 3-day 21 SMA also at about uh, the 4.3 cents area, pretty in line with the daily 50 SMA. Your weekly is going to be a weekly 21 SMA, about uh, 3.6 cents area. Weekly 50 is way down there, about 2.25 cents area. Now, uh, you know, there's going to be quite a few bounce scenarios, right? Because you have uh, quite a bit of major moving averages beneath this bottom trend line here. Uh, let me also add that the daily 200 is going to be at about your 3.2 cents area. Okay, so quite a bit of bounce scenarios. Now, bounces does not necessarily mean that it's going to take the price action further to the upside. Um, it's just that, you know, it's going to be very likely that buyers are going to be coming in at those levels or shorts are going to be covering at those levels. Okay. Um, so, you know, when price action does get to those levels, uh, I could come back and recharge this for you guys at a lower time frame and see if we can get any ideas, if it would be a bounce that would take the price action further upwards. Uh, like a rebound, or would it actually continue downwards to get some kind of idea to get a higher probability of accuracy here? Okay, so that's basically what I'm looking at. Uh, my stance on this coin is I actually have a limit order um, that's very close to the daily 200 SMA, right? Because of all these bearish signals I'm seeing. I could very well be wrong. Um, so I have a limit buy at about, I'm going to be tracking the daily 200 SMA for a quick scalp. Uh, that is just what I'm doing, not financial advice, right? Especially if you guys don't have a uh, a plan, right? Um, now that's my plan, it's just for a quick scalp. Um, so that's basically what I'm seeing. Now, I am still overall long on this Crypto market, I am long on quite a bit of altcoins, right? Because Bitcoin is uh, still trying to stay away from that possible breakdown at about the 24.7K, right? Weekly 50 SMA is catching up, okay? Um, and Bitcoin has not yet came uh, come down to bounce off that moving average yet. So it looks like it could be a pretty strong bounce. Um that is just my opinion, right? That's just what I'm seeing. Um, so I am still long on this crypto markets overall, but I am cautious because Bitcoin is at a decision point right now at about that 28K level. Now that's basically for it for this post. If you guys want to continue seeing Casper, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I will bring you guys an update if enough of you guys want to see it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys on the next one.